latest when we can safely uh, broadcast live. All right, Alex, thanks so much for that update. You be safe out there, and we look forward to more information from you. Uh, we also have Adriana de Alba. I want to bring my other colleague. She's there uh, at part of that scene for this hostage situation. All right. Understand we have a live picture from Adriana. This is the scene at the congregation Beth Israel in Colleyville. Understand that the police, law enforcement, several law enforcement agencies do have a situation there right now, a hostage situation that they're monitoring. They're calling it a SWAT situation. Um, we can tell you that this started around 1.15 this afternoon. Colleyville police are asking police to people in that area to avoid the area near 6100 block of Pleasant Run Road. Again, they're asking folks to avoid this area around the 6100 block of Pleasant Run Road as this situation unfolds. We can tell that all residents in that immediate area have been asked to leave their homes. We're still working to find out exactly what's going on inside of that synagogue right now. Again, it's been an active scene for the past couple of hours. A few moments ago, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson, he's among those who has been responding online and social media about this situation. In a tweet I saw that he wrote, he's praying for our neighbors and law enforcement officers in Colleyville. Again, this is happening at the Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue in Colleyville. That's off the 6100 block of Pleasant Run Road. SWAT is responding to a hostage situation there that's been active for a couple of uh, hours right now. You can see several law enforcement agencies have their vehicles outside of that building right now. I see ambulances, police cars, um, Colleyville police, FBI, and uh, state troopers are also involved in this ongoing investigation. Again, we have several reporters in that area right now. They're working to gather as much information as we can. We don't know if there's any uh, immediate harm to anyone in that particular area, though the uh, police are cautioning folks in that particular area to uh, leave and not come to that immediate area for now. Um, we will continue watching this and monitoring this. You can follow WFAA online and all social media platforms um, as we continue to watch this unfold. All right. and. Um, And again, just to recap, this is a breaking situation. Law enforcement is at the Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue in Pleasant Run in Colleyville. We do have several reporters in that area working to get the bottom line and details so that we can release those to you. My colleague, Alex Rozier, he's safely away from that area. He's been moved a little moment ago. And Alex, I understand you're on the phone with us. Are you in a safe location right now, Alex? Yeah, we're in a safe location. We're going to be moving here to um, a, a staging area where the law enforcement has us. Uh, this is just a, a very tense situation uh, that is ongoing in Colleyville. We're seeing law enforcement from several agencies, from locally here in Colleyville, the police department to the feds, uh, many of them in some tactical gear uh, preparing for however this situation is going to play out. Uh, Beth Israel, Jewish Synagogue is the location uh, we were staging nearby about three tenths of a mile uh, away from uh, the synagogue uh, we've been listening uh, to what is playing out there and just hoping for a uh, safe resolution for all parties as it appears someone in some pretty serious uh, mental distress is uh, uh, holding some people up uh, hostage in this synagogue and and uh, we're, we're just hoping for a very safe outcome here yeah, you know, um, Alex, I understand that there's a lot of um, worry and concern happening right now. Have you been able to determine if there was some type of program happening at the synagogue or what uh, was going on at the synagogue today leading up to this uh, incident? It just appears from their Facebook page that there was a morning service that was taking place, and, and perhaps that is where uh, he came into contact. This, this uh, individual came into contact with the people who were inside this church. Uh, that, the time that we're living in right now there's a there's a lot out there on facebook including live streams and we have been uh hearing uh the conversations that were taking place in there and and um we are just hoping again uh for a safe resolution to this as this person clearly appeared to be in mental distress and and uh you know 
we are just working to figure out how this is going to end and law enforcement is standing by uh, trying to safely put an end to this. Yeah, you know, Alice, I can only imagine that law enforcement is being very careful about what information they put out right now because it's an ongoing uh, tactical issue. Um, have you been able to determine exactly how large this response is in terms of uh, the vehicles in that around that area, both um, that may have been at that synagogue for whatever programming or services were happening today in addition to um, the police response? Uh, you know, it, it, it's a, a massive response. Um, and, and obviously, Colleyville, when it comes to North Texas law enforcement agencies, is not the biggest police department. So they quickly had a good amount of help that has uh, responded to assist them. And uh, they have roads blocked up pretty much uh, any, anywhere with an eyesight of this synagogue, you can't get any closer. So uh, right. where we were staged was a, a middle school nearby, and even where we were three-tenths of a mile away, uh, there was plenty of law enforcement, and there, was, there were crews, uh, tactical crews, that were preparing uh, to, to step in if needed. Um, but, Damond, we're going to uh, drive over right now real quick. I'm gonna I think we may have lost uh, Alex. I think we just may have lost Alex, but uh, as he was describing, there's a massive presence in that area. It's again it's happening near the uh, Congregation Beth Israel Synagogue on the 6100 block of Pleasant Run Road in Colleyville. Several police agencies are responding to this situation right now. We understand that uh, they've been putting out information, asking and urging people to avoid that particular area. They've also been asking people in that immediate area to leave their homes. Um, we don't know how much longer this is going to be playing out. It's been uh, active for about a couple of hours now so far. We've been monitoring it here in the newsroom through several um, social media channels, through law enforcement agencies and other credible sources so that we can get to the bottom line of what's happening. We know a lot of people are concerned and prayers from across the country have been coming in as this uh, situation is being monitored right now. Again, just want to make sure that we uh, let you know what information we have right now. We know that SWAT and several law enforcement agencies are responding to a hostage situation in Colleyville at a synagogue. That synagogue may have had some kind of program when, um, according to Alex Rozier, uh, someone entered uh, that synagogue and an emergency situation evolved. I can tell you again, uh, police are urging folks to avoid that area near the 6100 block of Pleasant Run Road, and they're urging folks to avoid that area, and if you have uh, any business in that area, they're going to let you know they're telling people to uh, not come, they're urging folks to leave their homes. Uh, we're going to regroup for a little bit and um, make sure that our field crews are okay and uh, regroup and get the bottom line from them as to uh, where they're positioned so that we can make sure we're getting you the proper and uh, most accurate information as this situation unfolds this afternoon. Uh, you can follow us again on all social media channels and WFAA.com for the latest. I'm Damon Fernandez.